Hello friends, welcome in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal, and today I am going to show you how to configure Oracle Wallet Manager. Through Oracle Wallet Manager, we can encrypt our backup, which is we are taken by Armen and taken by expdp command. Let's see. Open your terminal and login as a root user which in this command and check your database is running in archive mode or not using this command so your database running in no archive mode change it using this method start amount then all the database archive log then open okay now check again change it or not yeah it's change your dot now your database running in archive mode okay going on a host then sql net or a file path is oracle home key in there network admin sql net or a enter and write here a code press i then write here this code this is a directory which is mandatory to create for wallet so we have need to create it first of all save it file save this file and login as a root user then create hyphen p for parallelly create your directories this then giving some permissions ownership permissions and data to execute permissions using this command switch on that is ownership permission and ch mod that is read and write and execute permissions then open new tab and run OWM command Oracle Wallet Manager. It's showing a graphical interface. You just follow the instructions. Okay. Okay. It's showing like this. Then you have to click on this one wallet. Menu wallet. Click here and select new. And it's saying your default wallet directory wa does not exist do you want to create it no i don't want to create it press no and give me the wallet key here password a must password must be have a minimum of eight characters contain alphabetic characters and contain number of special characters so i'm giving here master M A S T E R one two three. That is the password. M A S T E R one two three. Then okay. Now it's saying a new empty wallet has been created. Do you want to create it? Create a certificate request at this time? No. 
I don't want to create a certificate request at this time. So press no. Now click again on wallet and save as. Now it's showing an a directory path here. So we have need to create that directory, that appropriate directory in root user. So mk dir hyphen p this and giving some permission ownership permissions to this directory and rewrite and exhibit permissions then change directory now your present working directory is you can check your what is your present working directory you can see this is your present working directory now you are inside in this directory now see using ls command what is in that directory there is nothing ok now go back on your graphical interface then click ok once again click ok then exit now see what is inside of the directory that is your oracle e-wallet here ok now check the permissions of your e-wallet it's have only read and write permissions so we have need to give the execute permissions to that e-wallet using this command now you see your wallet have read write and execute permissions and it's all green okay now your wallet has been successfully completed now how to use that wallet on Armen backup so we can connect with the Armen here Armen target then show all it's saying all configuration which is done by for Armen here you can on your control file auto backup on using this command and you can also on your database encryption for the database that is all by default is off on it using this command and uh, by default your encryption algorithm is AES128 right now you can use your wallet take up full backup using our main backup database archive log so it's showing an error why because of that unable to encrypt backup it is unable to encrypt backup we also on the encryption of backup so but wallet is not open okay so we have need to open the wallet then we are able to take the armen backup so how to on your wallet how to open e wallet so connect to your sql prompt system set encryption key 
identified by master123 enter then go back on your armen prompt and run again backup command it's going to take all backup of your database and not showing any error okay now your backup has been completed successfully okay and with that backup your control file or sp file backup also is taken so your wallet has been completed dear friends if you got any knowledge from my video so please like my video and subscribe my channel and share my video in your network and if you want to give any suggestion to me about my video then please write in the inbox and in the comment box thank you thank you for watching my video enjoy